for the first time, we're actually going to use uh, the cube. Okay, uh, we're not. We're going to keep it. So um, I'm going to build some kind of fake buildings first. So that, that's one thing. Uh, so we can kind of populate this and then make them kind of like a guide for us to uh, to trace. Okay, so we're going to start uh, extruding this. Kind of give it a height like so and then i'm going to go to the top viewport press a to select everything and then i'm just going to shift d so it's a single object and i'm just going to uh duplicate and then kind of move all right and then uh, duplicate again i'm going to rotate All right, that might be enough for what we need. Uh, then I'm just gonna start kind of changing the elevation, pretending they're different buildings. All right, so now we can go to our camera, switch to the camera right here. Uh, I'm going to control the camera first and then I'm going to lock it. So let me turn on my screencast. I'm going to go to view right here, lock the camera, and then kind of do a uh, two point uh, uh, horizon kind of deal. So I'm going to try and get the uh, bottom kind of flat right there. Okay, so your typical kind of on the ground uh, camera angle. And we're using a 50 millimeter on in blender right now so we kind of get that skewing right there so it's not a long lens okay so that's our camera right here i'm going to unlock it now so that i don't accidentally uh move it i'm going to go here and then i'm going to keep kind of populating that uh uh environment right here so i will uh just select let's say um all of this and then shift d I'm just going to kind of put that in there and then uh, shift D I'm going to rotate this one all right so if I go back to my camera as if there's more stuff in there and let me kind of fix the bottom here make sure that that's completely flat okay so and this is using a 50 millimeter hence we're having these things okay so I will now add a grease pencil object into the scene okay there's blank there's stroke and a monkey uh, if you use blank um, it's not just blank you don't have any uh, pre-made uh, materials or texture okay so I will just use a stroke when you use a stroke you get this crazy stroke right here however when you look at your materials you already have a bunch okay so it's better than not starting blank so what I'll do I'll just erase that so I'll select the stroke here and then just pretty much delete it okay and I have the stroke selected right here if I go now to object mode or draw I can draw on top okay so I can draw like so okay uh, but what I need to do here is I'm gonna change my uh, to uh, uh, ink that's rough okay and the difference here is that I will change my origin so basically this is where you draw I'm gonna draw on the surface so instead of drawing on the origin which is the center of the world I want to draw on top of surface which is this 3d objects right here okay and there's several ways to do this you can have a manual um, look where you actually try to draw freehand like this okay so your drawing will be very organic uh, very hand-drawn looking but let's not kid ourselves if you guys are drawing um, backgrounds and whatnot you're using your tools you're using your t-square you're using all sorts of stuff you know using guidelines so what we'll do here is we're going to use the uh, line uh, stroke right here okay so if I click that and it might take a little bit longer uh, because you have to click and click you got to end this one right here so 
and it's quite uh, unique when you're working with uh, on surface because you want to make sure that you're landing on a surface you don't want to be drawing exactly on the middle line right there okay so I got those and I'm just gonna press enter and then you're uh, to the next one all right and I promise I will not draw the entire thing because that would be a while okay we're just gonna do this building right here and then maybe another one over there all right so again I'm pressing enter to end the line tool okay so in case you're wondering how do you get out of this line tool so once you have those you got two points to kind of edit and kind of position those where they need to be okay and then press enter or return to end the tool all right so there we go all right so now if uh if i want to take a look at this one that's what kind of looks like it's not exactly where it's supposed to be on the surface and that's what we're going to do to kind of reproject okay so i'm going to press zero right here i'm going to make uh, uh maybe this one and then that one right there all right so again uh using the line tool And I do want to move that. I want to make sure that I'm on this surface right here. And I'm just using this rough uh, ink. Uh, it kind of simulates uh, imperfect lines. Okay. And of course, you can change all the thickness and whatnot later on in uh, the grease pencil um, uh, strokes right here. Then you can... You know you can uh, you can mess with all that later on so we're just gonna leave it as default okay one more I promise uh, let's go here probably this one all right almost done all right so let's say you want windows and whatnot um this is the beauty of this if i go to object mode select the actual 3d model okay and then if i hit tab go to edit mode right here i can add uh, a bunch of um, cuts loop cuts by hitting Control r and then scrolling my mouse to uh, add those numbers and then i could do horizontal and vertical as well so if i decided to go like so and then over here then there it is so let's say those are the number of windows we want or even lines that you want to simulate that this is a building so however if i go to stroke now when i go to edit mode i mean object mode you lose all that so you can force to see all the wireframes by going to your overlay and checking wireframe right here so you see the guide right so if i go back to stroke over here and then i can go to my um uh, draw mode right here so I'm gonna freeform this thing I'm not gonna use the line tool I'm gonna go to my draw okay same kind of pen rough then I'm gonna just gonna draw those out just so that it's a little faster And you can go as far as adding detail to go inside. So let me go back again to object mode, go back to my cube, right? And uh, if I zoom in here, okay, and then edit mode, I go to my face mode right here. If I select, let's say, this window right here, and I decided well, I want to extrude them going in, so you actually see that there's an inside, okay, or they're hollow right there and if i go back to object mode here go back to my stroke go back to draw then i can draw on top right here i can actually add those okay there they are just move the camera a little bit higher all 
All right. So now what we can do is we can just leave it like this. However, let's say you want different angles. Uh, it's not going to work because once I uh, once we move the camera, as you can see, it's not really projected in there, is it? It's uh, it's kind of wonky. You see it? Because we're just drawing on the surface. It's kind of like those uh, artwork you see on the ground where it looks like 3D and it's deeper. But it only works at one angle. So that's what we're doing right here. So if you want to make those art, actually, you can you can pre-visualize it or cheat in a way. Do it here first and then you can draw it however crazy it looks like from the top. And then when you see the angle, it will work. Okay. All right, so let's say um, that's it, right? Let's say we fill this entire thing and then we're ready to kind of use it, but we want to kind of use it like a 3D angle, right? So we want to change the camera a bit, like we would go like this and it would still kind of work. Right now it won't work because it's not really on the surface, okay? So what we can do is go to edit mode, okay? And then I'm gonna press A to select everything, right? You can do that in points or stroke, it doesn't really matter. However, this is where the magic happens. If I go to Grease Pencil right here, again, we're in edit mode and I selected everything, right? By pressing A. Grease Pencil clean up, and then you will see this one here where it says Reproject Strokes, okay? So if I click on Reproject Strokes, it will ask me, where do you want to reproject them, okay? We want to reproject them from the surface, and what's gonna happen is that Blender, Grease Pencil, will actually press those things the draw strokes on the actual surface. So now they're in there. You see it? There's no more gap. All right. There's no more gap. Okay. Well, that's kind of funky because it was an angle when I drew it. But the thing is, if I actually hide my geometry, you get your drawing like so. And you can actually rotate your camera angle and you still get your strokes. 